Leading that generation was Freddie, nay Fred Brathwaite, the pioneering artist who had his fingers in everything from graffiti and rapping to acting notably in Charlie Ahern's cult classic Wild Style. But the wheels were in motion long before the 1980s. A lot of people think the whole idea of a DJ with two turntables started in the Bronx with Cool Herc, Freddie said. But it didn't. In fact, mobile DJs had been using rudimentary mixing setups to string fragments from disco and funk records into a seamless mix as far back as the 60s. These musicians were also among the first graffiti artists. Back then, it wasn't uncommon to see, say, Brooklyn's Grandmaster Flowers' Flowers Plus Dice, tag thrown up in black marker around New York. Hey, flowers on it, and it's FS for fast, for fast FF for fast funk, you know, things like that, you know. Right. And, and for his crew, he's, he's teaching them, hey, this goes with this. No, 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 you've messed that up. Do that again. You know, yeah. The other thing, as we close out, I didn't realize Flowers was also a tagger. Uh, he, yes. he dabbled in the art of aerosol, graffiti artists. He was one of the early taggers from Brooklyn. There, there, when I interviewed Fab Five Freddy, Freddy got so excited talking about Flowers as a tagger because he said they were all inspired by this, 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 this tag flowers dice or dice flowers um all over all over wherever you know the the the, the, the cool place to hang out was empire roller ring you know nostrand ave you know franklin you know what i mean he would see you know flowers dice and it was you know to teenagers at that time you know tagging was new there, right. there weren't but a fistful of taggers in new york at that time and so here's this guy you know plastering this stuff everywhere i got some of those pictures i'm gonna share them with you later but um the, the the energy from that when you talk to people you know who knew him or were from that era in brooklyn they're like yeah you know flowers dice i remember flowers dice you know he was he was one of the first taggers in brooklyn 1969 he was tagging when I was born. <laughs> so, the birthday is all. But across the Brooklyn Bridge, writers Friendly Freddy, Fantastic Eddie, Super Goldie, Flowers Dice, and Undertaker Ash, as well as the gang The Vanguards, developed a local style complete with loopy letters and lots of flair. The Brooklyn writers that that I experienced seeing the most, and it was mainly because I took several trips down to Brooklyn, but like Flowers Dice, Undertaker Rash, and their styles were so much more unique that it sort of created a, uh, a need to go back to Brooklyn more often to see what was happening. I just, the best I can remember Flowers Dice as being something like that. It was fairly simple, because they were very, very early. I just remember him looping the F a bit and, you know, Friendly Freddy with a bit of a flourish, but not, you know, like the subsequent Brooklyn style, you know, because Brooklyn style was always very fancy. Uh, for example, you can do a, a simple end like this, or you could do the, I think, the knoll end like that, or the Vanguard fancy Brooklyn style end. The style changing from straight letters to script, if you will, or designing, it was an evolutionary process, I would say. Sometimes you had to write quicker, faster. You, you, you start incorporating art into it. Personally, I love the Brooklyn style. It had much more flourish to it and pizzazz than any other before and since, other than maybe the, the Philadelphia guys. There are no 120s or 161s or anything like that in Brooklyn. You know, all the streets have names. And I think it's perhaps a more individualistic place than some of the others. 